So I've been hearing about Amazon DynamoDB. Do you know what it's all about? Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service. What's the difference between a NoSQL database and a relational database? A relational database provides rich query capabilities. However, complex relationships between tables make scaling more resource intensive. NoSQL databases are designed for high scalability. However, they do not provide as much complex query capabilities as relational databases. There are other NoSQL database options out there. What's different about Amazon DynamoDB? Well, Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed database service, which means you never have to worry about any database administration. That's great. So how are people using it? It's great for gaming, ad tech, mobile apps, and other applications that need reliable and consistent throughput with low latency. So can you tell me about the cost? Sure. With Amazon DynamoDB, you only pay for the throughput that you provision and the storage that you use. Is it reliable? Is my data backed up? Yes. Amazon DynamoDB automatically backs up your data in three separate facilities. Sounds good. How do I get started? AWS provides free online training with a self-paced lab to get you started and plenty of online documentation. You can even sign up and use the AWS free tier when you're ready to start building your own databases. Then all you have to do is build a table and set the throughput number of reads writes per second that you want. As you get started, you'll see that Amazon DynamoDB consists of tables with items and attributes. Each item has a unique primary key and any number of attributes. What's an item? An item is similar to a row in relational databases. And what's an attribute? It's similar to a column in relational databases, but not all items need to have the same number of attributes. And what's the unique primary key? You can query the items by their primary key. As the name implies, each item in a table has a primary key with a unique value. Let me log into my AWS account and show you how easy it is to create query, and modify a table in DynamoDB. We'll use a gaming example where we keep track of users, the games they've played, and their scores. Anyone can sign up for a free account in the AWS Management Console. Here you will access AWS products and services such as Amazon DynamoDB. Click on the DynamoDB icon on the AWS Management Console homepage to access this service. Click Create Table. The Create Table wizard opens. In the Table Name field, type Game Scores. For the primary key, choose Hash and Range for the primary key type. In the Hash Attribute Name field, type User ID. In the Range Attribute Name field, type Game Title. When all the fields are as you want them, click Continue. On the Add Indexes page, click Continue. We will not be using an index for this exercise. On the Provision Throughput Capacity page, click Continue. We will accept the default Read and Write capacity for this exercise. On the Throughput Alarms page, accept the default settings of 80%. In the Send Notification To box, Type in your email address. Click the Continue button at the bottom of the screen. On the Review page, click Create. Amazon DynamoDB immediately begins creating the Game Scores table. This process takes several seconds to complete. When the Game Scores table is ready to use, it appears in the table list with a status of Active. If the screen does not refresh automatically within a minute, click on the Refresh icon at the top of the page. The Game Scores table is now ready for use. In this section, you will add data to the Game Scores table. In the Amazon DynamoDB console, click the Game Scores table and then click Explore Table. In the Explore Table window, click New Item. In the Data Entry window, type the following. For the user ID attribute value, type 101. For the game title attribute value, type Galaxy Invaders. In the next row, 
Enter a new attribute. Attribute name, wins. Attribute type, number. Attribute value, 21. In the next row, enter another new attribute. Attribute name, losses. Attribute type, number. Attribute value, 72. When all the fields are as you want them, click Put Item. The console displays a confirmation. Click OK to dismiss the message. Can you show me how to modify the data? Sure. Let's go back to the console and see how easy it is to modify data. In this section, you will modify an existing item. In the Amazon Dynamo DB console, click the Game Scores table and then click Explore Table. This will list all items in the table. In the Explore Table window, double-click on the item with User ID 102 and Game Title, Galaxy Invaders. This will bring up the individual item. On the upper left hand, click on the Edit Item button. For Win's Attribute Value, delete 0 and type in 1. Click the Update button on the lower right. Now can you show me how to query the data? Sure. Let's go back to the Amazon DynamoDB console and see how easy it is to query tables for information. In this section, you will query the data in the Game Scores table. In the Amazon DynamoDB console, click on the List Tables tab to bring up the list of your tables. Select the Game Scores table and then click Explore Table. By default, the console shows all of the items in the Game Scores table. In the upper left hand portion of the window, select Query. You can use the console to query the Game Scores table in various ways. For your first query, do the following In the Hash Key Value field, enter 101. When you've done this, click Query. All games played by user 101 are displayed. Try another query. In the hash key value field, enter 102. When you've done this, click Query. All games played by user 102 are displayed. Try another query, but this time narrow down the search results. In the hash key value field, enter 101. In the range key condition field, select Begins with. In the Range Key Value field, enter the letter M. When you have done this, click Query. Only Meteor Blasters played by user 101 is displayed. How do I delete a table? Deleting a table is easy. In fact, it is a best practice to delete tables that you are no longer using so you don't keep getting charged for them. In this section, you will delete the Game Scores table. This will also delete all of the data in the table. In the Amazon Dynamo DB console, click on the List Tables tab. Select the Game Scores table. And then click Delete Table. A confirmation dialog appears. Select the Delete This Table checkbox. And then click the Delete button. In the list of tables, the status of game scores changes to Deleting. This process takes several seconds to complete. Go to run.quicklabs.com to try it out with a free self-paced lab. While you're there, check out the other free AWS introduction trainings to learn about more AWS products and services. You can play around without having to open an account.